The U.S. economy is on the most solid ground it's been on in years, yet the stock market suffered a correction. So you may be wondering, should I be concerned about recent market behavior? The term correction is used most often when the market drops more than 10%. Now every time it does this, you're going to hear a lot of reporting that's negative, implying that further declines are coming. Now right now, talk centers around the Chinese economy and when the Fed will or won't raise interest rates. Sure, the market's always recovered from these types of events, but what you're going to hear is, this time is different. Now it's normal to have some concerns, but it's been said that this time is different are the four most dangerous words in investing. The phrase got this bad rap because the particulars of each correction have indeed been different, but the end result has always been the same. The market has always recovered from whatever was happening. It's just a matter of time. Now we're always at least somewhat concerned about the economy, international, and political issues. Additional market declines are certainly possible, but based on what's known right now, we do not see any reason that the market won't reach new highs in the future as it always has done after every other decline in history. Heck, the size and the speed of the recent market drops aren't even all that uncommon. From an investment standpoint, people who are on pins and needles watching the business news are focusing on things that should not affect their long-term financial plans. A properly structured portfolio that supports a family's financial plan should not require an accurate forecast about a rate hike, the economy, or the state of the Chinese markets. Speculators may need to read those tea leaves, but successful long-term investors, they don't get distracted by news or the noise. Invest. Don't speculate. Stay diversified, disciplined, and patient. Now we have much more to say about recent events and have some pretty interesting data in the quarterly newsletter which we have posted on our website. If you look at the blog page under the title, Should I Be Concerned About Recent Market Behavior? We'll also have some news of our own to share there. Now as always, if you have any questions, please contact us. We would love to hear from you.